Live Streaming Function With the built-in external monitor app on the Xperia 1 Mark IV, you can turn your Xperia into an external monitor with Sony Alpha Series and other cameras. This video explains how to use the app's live streaming function. Activate External Monitor App First, let's make the External Monitor App easier to access. Swipe the home screen to open the app tray. Go to Settings and select Device Connection. Then tap on Connection Preferences. Select External Monitor and turn on Show External Monitor App. An icon for External Monitor will now be displayed in the app tray. This step is now complete. Next, let's look at streaming options. First, connect your phone and camera. If you have a Sony Alpha camera that supports UVC, you can connect your phone with a single USB cable. After connecting your Xperia, select the relevant USB connection mode, Live Stream, to set your camera to output to your Xperia as an external monitor. For cameras that don't support UVC, you will need a USB to HDMI converter. Once connected, the Xperia will automatically display the output of the camera. The Xperia Pro features an HDMI micro port, so you can connect your camera to it with a single HDMI cable. Please check the table for more information on connecting compatible devices. Once connected, launch the external monitor app. Tap on Mode and switch to Streaming Mode. Read through and accept the notes on use and privacy policy that appear by checking the checkbox and tapping on OK. Next, tap on the Settings icon to configure the streaming settings. In the Settings menu, select Streaming Settings. Tap on Connect To and select either RTMP or YouTube. We will explain how to connect to RTMP and YouTube in this video. Let's start by looking at how to stream directly to YouTube. In the Network section of the settings, select YouTube under Connect To, and you will then be able to add your account below. Tap on YouTube account and log in to the account where you will be streaming. Next, tap on YouTube Live Event and select Create New Event. Configure your YouTube live stream preferences. Give it a title and description and set the start time and date. Then configure the audience, privacy, and latency settings. Tap the Save button to save your streaming preferences and your YouTube live event will be created. Setup is now complete and you're ready to stream. Next, let's look at how to use an RTMP URL. You can stream via RTMP by entering the RTMP stream URL and stream key from a supported service. Let's look at how to stream via RTMP using YouTube. First, navigate to your personal YouTube account page in any web browser and tap on Go Live. You will be taken to the live event creation page. In YouTube Studio, select Encoder Streaming and configure the other stream settings. Once this is done, enter the RTMP URL and stream key displayed in the stream settings into External Monitor. You are now ready to stream. Once you have started streaming on your Xperia, return to the web browser and click Go Live to start the live stream. Once you've set everything up, press the back button to return to the app's main screen. Finally, tap on the stream button Check the details on the settings confirmation screen. And if you're happy, tap on OK to begin streaming using the Xperia as an external monitor for your camera. This concludes the tutorial on streaming with the external monitor app. Connect your Xperia to a camera and try live streaming today.